NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore are now 50 days into a mission that was supposed to last only eight. Please begin the live tour of Starliner. There's Butch coming in through the hatch. And thanks to a malfunctioning Boeing Starliner, their extended stay in zero gravity is getting even longer. And liftoff of Starliner at Atlas V. Wilmore and Williams launched on a test flight of Starliner June 5th. As they closed in on the International Space Station, the spacecraft sprang multiple helium leaks. Several thrusters stopped working. Engineers are running tests in space and on the ground to figure out what went wrong. But NASA says they need more time before announcing a return date. We're making great progress, but we're just not quite ready to do that. NASA believes Starliner can still get the astronauts home, but the agency also says it's working on backup plans, which could include calling on a Boeing competitor, a SpaceX Dragon capsule. The beauty of having Dragon and Starliner and two different diverse space transportation systems is we can, we can kind of use those as backups. NASA says the astronauts remain in good spirits. It feels good to float around. It feels good to be in space and work up here with the International Space Station teams. Boeing, which has been under fire over problems with its 737 MAX airplanes, says Starliner can handle the mission. I'm very confident we have a, uh, a good vehicle to bring the crew back with. The question now is when.